Hello Stackers! Today I will be doing an unboxing from my latest purchase from Kitco. This will be a short video, so get ready and here we go! Alright! So let's have a look right now. I will be doing a review of Kitco in about a week, so uh, if you want to know if they're a good place to buy, stay tuned for that video. So the first purchase I made was uh, some bars, the add-on special. So I purchased 20 of them. There they are, so all of these are one ounce. And this, one, this is unwieldy. <laughs> all right. So they are from Sunshine Mint. I don't have the special uh, I don't have the special card to verify the, the authenticity, but from Kitco I don't think I have to worry about that. So 20 of them. I don't know if I should remove them from the packaging. What do you guys think? Uh, do you normally keep them in the sheet or do you separate? I think they can be separated. Yeah, like it's coming apart here. So I think they can be separated into uh, singles. I'll probably do that. Let's see if, uh, yeah, it's very easy to do. And I think I'll keep them in the protective sleeve. Kitco did give me uh, a tube. For, uh, for bars, it uh, allows you to put 20 of them inside of it. But uh, I had 11 other bars that uh, uh, I had no place to keep really, so I put them in that tube. Uh, since those are sleeved, I think I'll just leave them as is, so they are protected and I'm not gonna use the tube for them. So yeah, so I'll do that later. I'll keep you for this. All right, and the other thing I purchased. So um, this is for, uh, this is something I purchased uh, way ahead of uh, my, my schedule. But um, yeah, so this is something I purchased out of schedule. Uh, the reason for it is, uh, well, first I had the money, so <laughs> it was a good time to do it. And uh, the other thing is uh, I, I, am, I am part of the challenge from another overtaxed taxpayer. Uh, so if you've watched the video, I issued a challenge to uh, purchase gold. Um, price of gold for me is pretty high right now. I mean, it's almost at, at uh, all time high. So it's not a time of the year I would normally purchase, but I wanted to get uh, the challenge done. <laughs> That's the way I am. Uh, so I did purchase some gold from them. All right. Here it is, pretty small. It's a one-tenth ounce maple leaf. Let's see if we can get the camera to focus on it. Let me just uh, add some light so you can see it. All right, so here it is. Let's focus the camera, try to get details off of it. Tiny, but it's beautiful. There we go. So that's it. That's my uh, second, well, my third piece of gold. I also have two one gram pieces that I receive as a gift. So this uh, makes my total, the total of my uh, gold stack go from two grams to 5.1 grams. And I'm really happy about it. So there we go. It was a very quick video for today. I didn't uh, purchase many items. Well, just two, really. <laughs> All right, guys. So here's everything I purchased in the same spot. So the bars are uh, my flipping uh, silver. So uh, if the spot price uh, can eventually double, these will be sold. 
The gold I don't intend to sell unless I really, really need to. So this is really a buy and hold uh, for me when it comes to gold. Same thing for my collection of bullions. So what's uh, your strategies? Are you planning to uh, keep your silver or gold forever? Or do you have a specific plan in mind for when you're planning to sell it? Let us know in the comments below. As always, guys, remember to comment and like the video. And if you're not subscribed, I invite you to do so right now so that you can see new videos on this channel.